Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for the Banner Saga. This is a game that I played through personally uh, several years back. I don't remember how long ago it's been now. Uh, it was not on YouTube, it's just on my own time. Kind of one of those things. And I vaguely remember enjoying the game. I don't really remember much else about the game other than it's like a tactics game with some other stuff on it. I, that's about all I remember. Uh, but there's three of these, as you can see at the top. There's Banner Saga 3. I think in the bottom right-hand corner it says Banner Saga 2. I don't know why there's two different places for that. But we're going to start off with Banner Saga 1. I don't think you have to play them in order. I think you can. they're all kind of self-contained, but I think there's a little bit of carryover story. I, I don't really know. Um, but I figured I'd start with the first one. Uh, it's actually the only one I own currently. And if I enjoy it enough, I might go ahead and play the second and third, because why not? Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get around to this. I do like tactics games, so I figured this was a pretty good one to jump into and uh, we'll see if we uh see how it goes story in the banner saga changes based on the choices you make you will occasionally switch between lead characters witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives that's pretty cool the gods are dead in their wake men and giants survive through a tenuous alliance driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Interesting. I don't remember any of the story, I'll be honest. So. It's all kind of new to me. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Ritzhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Why are we fighting? <laughs> You've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. Actually, one thing I do want to do. Uh, we'll go ahead and click check, I guess. Uh, these portraits show the border of initiative or the order of initiative. Taking turns from left to right, blah, blah, blah. It's typical tactic stuff. Your allies are blue. The enemy's red. It's your turn to act. Okay. Uh, is there like a options let's turn the audio around music still sounds a little bit high but the audio i'll turn out the effects as well i'm gonna turn up the master because i feel like the the conversation the words were a little bit quiet I don't need the music that loud i just want the to be able to hear the people talk okay we'll try that all right so i think it's pretty cool that the uh, giants take up bigger slots than the the humans that's kind of a kind of a cool deal so um it's my turn to act cool 
Movement happens before action makes sense. The ring shows your shield ba uh, banger is active. Uh, the blue tiles around him show where he can move. Okay, sounds good. Some characters feel more tiles than others. It's like a giant thing. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Yeah, that makes sense. Click the tile. Oh, we can actually move all the way up to here because of the fact that we're a two by two. Um, click the tile you want to move to, then click the check mark to confirm. Move your shield bear here. Okay, sounds good. Click the check mark. To target an enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty typical. You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. Ah, interesting. The numbers beneath each icon show the damage you'll do to that stat. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of two strength means you now do two less damage. Interesting. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you can open them up to more damage in the future. The man has only five strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Click the fist now to do strength. To attack his strength and confirm your choice. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, good stuff. He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is la used later to improve your characters. Good to know. After taking an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turn turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. Interesting. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield bangers. High armor. That would took very little damage there. Now it's your Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Willpower is a limited resource, so use it wisely. By clicking the gold tiles, a character can move further than usual at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. Red pulsing tiles beneath your enemies show how close you have to get to be in range. Move your Warhawk into range attack range now. That makes sense. I'm assuming this is the willpower. Yes, it is. So we'll move up to there because it's telling me to do that anyway. All right, it looks like it'll use two willpower to do that. Standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click your Warhawk tile to ask, access his ability. Clicking the character's tile will bring up all his combat options, including move, ability, attack, and in turn. Click the purple ability icon now. Uh, the ability description appears in the tooltips below. The Warhawk's Tempest allows them to slam multiple enemies at once. Select an enemy that confirm your choice. I guess it doesn't matter because it'll hit them all. Nice. I mean, obviously this first battle is going to be stupid easy, so it's just a learning thing. Uh, that made quick work of the Chieftain's Bodyguards. When there's only one enemy left, players enter Pillage mode. During Pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one, one willpower. The Chieftain will rest this turn. Okay. Looks like the Chieftain is in some trouble. Your Shipbreaker won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Click the Chieftain's Tile to attack. Click the Fist, and then the stars above the Fist to add willpower. The number of stars available each turn are determined by your exertion stats. You see the damage number go up as you add willpower. Click a star and then click the green check to kill them. To mark the ki and check mark to kill this enemy. Goodness, I can't talk all of a sudden. So we do that. We definitely want to add some willpower. That gives us nine. That's how much he has. Cool. Easy peasy. As you would expect. Uh, I am playing a normal difficulty. I forgot to mention that. Uh, just figured I'd play through it, have some fun. Uh, I could have played on hard probably just because I have played it through before, but. Again, it's been a very, very long time, so figured why not? Have some fun. I'm not too worried about the challenge right now. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and bar slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. 
I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight, and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Chapter 1. Only the sun has stopped. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. I just did the X, I guess. Yeah, that real. Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Or Eric. 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 Ubin, isn't it? Uh, it is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Um, sure. What do you have in mind? The scofflings that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. So hoping you join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Sounds good. Click the market tent to visit the merchant. Since that is the only place we can go, sounds like a plan. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open face houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Tad, I'm not in the mood today. Or for what? I'm <laughs> talking to an idiot. The scofflings chieftain bled out about an hour ago, had. So when you tell me, uh... Oh, what? Okay, that's fine. The rest of them crawled back into. Nobody's going to try to kill you this time. What rat rear end? We'll say it that way. The rest of them crawled back into. Nobody's going to try to kill you this time. That's funny. I don't talk to. They don't talk to me. Uh, Eric, need some help here. I don't have the patience for this. Say nothing. Okay, need some help here. All right, I had a change of heart. I hope you do. Uh, I I hope you do give us a hard time. Had sweats visibly fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. It's, if everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week, now, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? Sure, we'll pay him. He tosses a sliver of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. Had gestures meekly to a variety of junk from his stall. Take whatever you like. Only thing I'd like is the name of a place. Nobleman... Up by East Wall. But that was months ago, last I know. Had skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel. Disappearing for a while until his, until this blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gunolf, were you wearing green back at the Great Hall? Weird question. <laughs> no, just bought him while you were walking around. Why? You look like a frog. <laughs> we'll say they look good. We'll be nice. <laughs> I'm glad you care. Gunolf goes off to look at more stalls. Eric, the man uh, of yours... That man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scuffling. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a meat hall? Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Um... Shouldn't we have a approach of some sort? What a luxury. Come on, you've already mucked up worse today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. Sounds good. All right, now what are we doing? So we got, there's a great morale, the number of days, renown options, number of clansmen, fighters, borrow, days of supplies. Anywhere for us to click? Am I blind? I'm probably, oh, there it is, meat house. I see it now. You arrive in front of what must be noblemen. A few minutes later, Eric appears with a weather-beaten man introduced as Valgard. I'll point them out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get it over with. That's the spirit, says Valgard. Okay, here we go. Valgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of the table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scufflings scramble to find their own weapons turning tables and mead steins in the process. So 
We got, there's, is this one Eric? Yep, there's Eric, and there's a Valgard. Cool. Obviously being normal sized humans. Uh, I guess we can position these guys wherever we want to within this ring, I'm assuming, because that's typical for tactics games. Um, I'm going to put you... I mean, I don't think it'll matter that much, but I am going to put you over there, just, just so you're able to face off against the bigger group. Uh, primarily because you have an AE ability, you can do that a little more damage there. I'm going to have you just try to run up and kind of help engage a little bit as well. These two guys should be able to handle these two guys over here on the side by themselves, I would imagine. All right, we'll go with that. Um, looks like uh, Valgard goes first. Now we could use a double move or an extra move to get all the way up here. We do have some extra willpower, it appears. So it might be worth just going and getting up here and engaging right away. Here's the most we can damage we can do is four. And we'll use two willpower. I'm going to go with it. We'll see if maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe it's a good idea. Stone wall. What is stone wall? I click this. Will it do it? Blocks damage to sh blocks damage to strength and armor for one round. Blocks three damage per hit. One round. Okay. Uh, I think I will say no. Just have a regular attack. I think we'll just do a regular attack here. We got plenty of shield already. Four damage. Could break a little bit of his shield, but honestly, it's only going to take two attacks no matter what we do. So it feels silly to break his shield first and then still have to do at least one more attack. So we'll just do the attack here. Could kill him with two willpower. I mean, there's something that kind of makes me feel like earn a little bit of willpower up front and then um, and just whittle some stuff down so we're just less damage we got to take. It's almost always a good idea to just eliminate units. We'll try that. Might be a, might be a, an idea that we decide to change, pivot from later on. But I think for right now, this is going to be okay. Do I want to move you double, though? Honestly, I think what I might do with you, because he's already moved and we know he can't move again, I may just move you up here, kind of near him, to be able to engage next turn. And we could rally, apparently. Oh, that actually feels like a pretty good idea, so we'll go ahead and do that. Does it do everybody, or does it do just him? I don't have a... Guess we'll give willpower to one of you guys. Um, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Right, a little bit of shield damage there, nothing too bad. Uh, you should be able to come up and at least do some good damage to this guy, it looks like. There's no ability there, we just do an attack. Could bust some shield, or we could just take, again, same type of thing. Two turns to just kill him straight up. There's really no point in busting the shield, because it's going to take turns no matter what we do, it looks like. Could add some more to it, but I don't think there's a benefit here. All right, they're picking on Eric here. All right, I don't think we're going to be able to get in a position to do an AUAE attack here, unfortunately. Yeah. So my idea of moving you, it's just because he just moved so late. Yeah, cause this, this Tempest will not hit everybody, so I think we will just do a regular attack here. Appears that we could just one-shot this guy, though, and I feel like that's exactly what we want to do. Oh, interesting attack. Able to charge through him. And he did some shield attack, shield damage. Alright, so you should be able to just engage this guy here. I feel it's the same kind of thing, though. I feel like using a little bit of willpower to try and just get rid of this guy is probably not a bad idea. Uh, again, we can stonewall again, but I just feel like getting rid of this guy is the right move. We will use willpower again. All right, so you cannot kill that guy, but you could come over here and kill this guy if we wanted you to. Yeah, you're going to do hardly any damage at all, to be honest. Actually, no, I'm sorry. You're, yeah, you don't do that much damage. So there's really nobody here that you could do much to. I guess the best thing you could probably do is actually, this is one of those few cases where maybe... Well, again, it's the same idea. The, m the more damage we do to their strength, the less damage they do back to us. We do the shield, we can do a little more damage from other people, but... 
either way, we only gain, we're only netting, net gaining one something, right? So I don't think there's any benefit here. This is really not, this guy's not very good at attacking. So we're just going to do some damage here. I don't know. There's, I mean, he does gain more from willpower, to be fair. Because he's tripling his damage just from using two willpower. Whereas this guy only did 50% more damage. I realize it's the same amount of damage, but it's just kind of, in a way, it makes it more valuable. So we might do that. I think that's the right move. All right, a little bit of shield damage there. Um, I kind of want to move you over to allow this guy to get into this little nook here to be able to do some AoE damage. So I think I'm going to move you over here. Potentially finish this guy off. Especially if we use some willpower. If we have some, we do have plenty of willpower. So, oh, we can only do one with you. All right, we won't bother with that. All right, so you can get into this little nook. You're not going to do that much damage, it looks like. I don't think you're going to do as much damage with your AoE, but... Normal st da strength damage. Hmm. Or... We could just totally just wreck one of these guys. I'm, this guy does so much damage. I feel like he would kill this guy anyway, right? I wish we could see exactly how much damage he's going to do. We're going to start with this guy. I think he does four damage, so I think he'll do at least eight damage here, which I think will net more total damage. Oh, he did more than I thought. Okay, never mind. Okay, I was misreading that. So he was able to kill both. Or Eric. Alright. Uh, with some willpower, you can kill this guy straight up. So we will definitely do that. Poor Eric. He's just taking so much damage. I mean, I guess we could willpower with you to finish this guy off. Easy enough. Foes lie dead at your feet. Promotion. Tempered by blood. Pain and resolve. Nice. They are. There they are. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's window into the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of bold reds and a blues. One better I know well. Wagner. Next for Varl King ship. Last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah, important guess. See what I deal with all day long. Uh, things make a little bit more sense. Yeah, I hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the Great Hall before they come by. That, that sounds like a good idea. Let's clean up the place. Can I ask one more favor? Sure. What is it? If you happen to stall our guest, if you happen to stall our guest down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgard hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to meet the new rivals down at the docks. All right, so we're up to 15 right now. We'll, I'm sure we'll look at some point. We'll get a note to tell us what to do with that. Let's go ahead and head down to the docks. We got a little bit more time left in this episode. We'll go do this. Wagner. A familiar Varl steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version tramping the halls of Grofheim, abundant in purpose. Gods, Ubin, you're looking ancient. You're looking ancient. Comes with being old. And if there is, and if there is Wagner, there must be Hakon. Hakon? Uh, must there? Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old yawks. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Jorandir demands it. I'll, I'll take that over lingering to death in Grafheim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Arborang, in fact. And glad for it. Hakon motions to the other ships in the bay. Sails still fluttering. Golden wolf head emblazoned on red. The king of men or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son, Luden. Don't you know? I don't know what that says. We visit his capital, he visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. As Hakan has, has it, I'd almost forgotten it. It's a good thing you're around, Hakan. I just realized my camera was probably in the wrong spot for all those battles. I'll, I'll move it for the next set of battles for sure. 
then you're going to Gruffheim. I have the distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand and was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'd drink a week. I'd drink a week away, but uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where is Mog Mogur? Heck on gate. Have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm headed to meet the new governor. Or meet the governor. A host of giants departs in his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strange to you. Guess I'm off to find Mogur. See you in the morning. I don't know what Scrivener means. I'll be along. The young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Luden looks for all the world, the sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders, okay? The long road back to Grafheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. The Great Hall. Weariness suddenly settles in, and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Wagner's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hakon or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. So we have some choices here. We can talk to him. We can talk to the prince. We can go to the Great Hall. Well, I think I'm going to think about that between episodes. Uh, I think my camera actually probably will be right there. Would be a pretty decent spot for it. We'll try that. Apologize for the uh, overlaying of the bottom left-hand corner there because I think there was some, some battle data there, but... Hopefully this will work better for us, but I don't know. I think this game's... I, I like the art. I think the art looks very cool. Obviously, it's very Viking-themed, as it's very, <laughs> as you can tell, but um, with a twist of the giants and all that kind of stuff thrown in. But uh, we'll get into this some more in the next episode. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this as much as I think I will. Um, and we'll go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.